What's up, everybody? Coach PJ Street with Revive Fitness Systems. Welcome back to the How to Track Calories for Weight Loss series. Uh, this is day two of my nutrition tracking. Um, if you haven't watched part one, uh, I give you a very long, detailed overview of what I'm doing. You can find the link in the description. Uh, and also, I have uh, day one of my tracking uh, up as well. I'll put that link in the description too. But if you want to um, not engage in all of that because it is long, uh, real quick, I am uh, five weeks into my fat loss phase. Uh, today is officially five weeks uh, down um, to 212.9 today, uh, starting at 228. So I'm down a little over 15 pounds in five weeks. It's a very good rate of weight loss. It's, uh, it's rapid fat loss, which uh, that is the goal. Uh, that's what I'm striving to do. Um, so I'm right on point, um, you know, averaging about one and a half percent of my starting body weight loss per week, which is aggressive. Okay, so uh, again, if you don't want to watch the introduction and overview, that's the deal. Uh, I'm eating roughly 1,800 to 1,900 calories a day, usually closer to 1,900. So we'll jump into it today with meal one. I'm going to incorporate some different foods today um, from the first day of tracking uh, just to give you, you know, a little bit of variety and show you that you don't have to eat the same thing every day. As long as you're hitting your calories and your protein, um, you're golden. You don't have to be on some set meal plan. Okay. So well, to, uh, this morning it's early for me to eat. It's about 10 o'clock. I usually don't usually don't eat till about 1130. I got a weird schedule today and I'm not going to be here, um, late morning and early afternoon. So I'm going to, I'm going to get a meal in now. All right. So we're going to do uh, 90 10 lean ground beef. Okay. This is already in my nutrition IX track app in my phone. Um, I have all the serving size information, calories per serving, protein, carb, fat for this food already in there. Okay. So I'm going to do about half a package. I don't know what that's going to end up being. We're, we're going to find out. So we'll throw this on the food scale. Yeah. I'm going to pull out about half the package. Okay, 234 gram uh, raw measure. Again, I measure all my meat, fish, and poultry as raw measures because it just makes it easier because all nutrition labels are raw. That way I don't have to go back and do a bunch of number crunching uh, and mental masturbation trying to figure out what it is cooked. But cooked weights are always going to be about 20 to 25% less for meat, fish, and poultry. So for instance, if you looked at the serving size on this, uh, and then threw this entire pack into a skillet. Don't dig out what the serving size is in grams because you're going to be overshooting your calories. This is why I weigh it out raw. Okay. So again, just a little tip. I brought that up before, but it, it never hurts to reiterate that, that kind of thing because that's a big mistake people make. They will track their food um, in raw measures, but then weigh it out cooked. Uh, and then they're, they're way off. So you want to be consistent. So I'll throw this in the app. Again, I already have this in here um, as a custom food, so I'll just search uh, 9010 Angus beef. It comes right up, private selection. Uh, I'll adjust the gram serving to 234. Hit return. Log the food. Uh, and that's a big helping of, of ground beef. Uh, that, that's about 414 calories of ground beef, about 48 grams of protein. So. I like, as I told you in the prior installments, um, I like to do like two 500 calorie meals and then a bigger, like 900 calorie meal for dinner. Okay. So, um, I'm going to do this, uh, and then I'm going to do, uh, simply potatoes, sweet potatoes. This is going to take me over 500 calories, which I'm fine with, um, in this circumstance. Um, these are low calorie. Uh, 105 gram serving is 70 calories. I'm going to do two servings. So that's going to put me up closer to 550 for this meal. Okay. No big deal. Um, so I'll scan the barcodes. I don't have this in my app and it pops right up and I'm going to do uh, two servings. So I'll adjust the serving size.
and that puts me right at 140 calories. Okay, so I'll take this off the food scale. I'm gonna put these in a toaster oven. So I'm gonna put my, I already got the toaster oven heating up. Put the pan on the food scale, I'll zero it out. And we're gonna do uh, 210 grams of two servings. I'm gonna spray it first. So it doesn't stick and we'll do 210 grams. On the button, okay. Spread these out a little bit. Um, I'm going to season this. Uh, with ground cinnamon always tasty. So I'll just hit those real quick with the cinnamon. Go about 12 to 14 minutes on those. Alexa, 13 minute timer. So um, while those are cooking, I'll get my skillet hot. Okay, uh, I'm gonna season this up as well. Worcestershire sauce. Uh, I don't track this, it's five calories for a teaspoon. It's not worth tracking. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit that with a little bit of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you say it. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw on some uh, Cajun style seasoning. No calories in this. Season it up pretty good. So you don't have to be bored with your food, guys. I have probably 15 different seasonings and sauces, like low calorie marinades, low calorie condiments and sauces that I, I rotate and throw on, you know, my meat, fish and poultry or rice or cauliflower rice or shirataki noodles or pasta or whatever it is I'm eating. Okay, you don't have to be bored with your food. You just need to be creative in the kitchen. You don't have to be a chef but you do have to learn how to cook and kind of expand your horizons a little bit and make it fun, okay? There's no reason that you need to be eating bland food. So, um, I think that's it. So this meal puts me at 557 calories, uh, 33 grams of carbs, uh, 23 grams of fat, and 50 grams of protein. This is a low protein meal for me, but I'll make it up. Uh, in the next meal, I'll probably do a big bunch of fish in meal two to keep the carbs low uh, and the protein ramped up high. Maybe a little bit of uh, uh, boar's head chicken breast with that fish. We'll see. And then, as I said in the prior installments, I like to save most of my carbohydrates for the evening. So that's it for uh, uh, day two, meal one. We'll be back in a bit uh, with meal two. Thanks. Hey, welcome back to How to Track Calories for Weight Loss. This is day two of tracking meal two. Uh, I'm gonna try a new little concoction here. We'll see how it comes out. Sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss with this stuff, but a uh, little bit lower calorie meal, uh, probably about 400 calories. Uh, gonna keep the carbs uh, pretty darn low. Fat will be up slightly, and then protein, as always, is going to be high, okay? so. We're gonna try this concoction. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, boar's head brand uh, curry chicken breast. Stuff's incredible. Uh, I already have the nutrition information uh, in my Nutrition IX track app uh, from uh, uh, previously having eaten this. So again, you can if, if you don't have a, a nutrition label on the package, you can go to a company's website and pull it off of there. So I just entered. The serving size of this, calories per serving, uh, protein, carbon, fat per serving, etc. Put it in as a custom food, and then whatever amount I have, I can just update the amount of grams, and it figures it out for me. So I'm going to go with uh, 200 grams.
which is a substantial amount of chicken breast, by the way. Okay, on the button. So 200 grams of that, and then talked about this before. Uh, I'm going to do some uh, some of this uh, packaged microwavable uh, rice, broccoli, and uh, cauliflower. Um, I've been into this stuff here lately. If you put some type of an oil or a dressing in it, um, it actually comes out pretty good. So this is 35 calories per package. I already have this uh, in the tracking app from Nutrition IX. Um, if I didn't, I could just scan the barcode and pull it up. But I just uh, throw this in a microwave in a bowl for 90 seconds, uh, and, and that's all that is. Um, so I'm going to mix the chicken breast with this, and then I got some uh, turkey bacon from Applegate Farms. Um, this is 60 calories for two slices. Uh, pretty good stuff. I'm just going to throw this in a toaster oven. I'll let that bake for 10 minutes. I might broil it at the end. Depends how crispy it gets. So what I'm going to do is combine the cauliflower rice uh, with the chicken breast, crumple the bacon over it, um, add a slice of fat-free uh, cheese. This is 30 calories. Again, I already have this, um, all the information, nutrition information uh, in the app. Um, so that's 30 calories. And then we're going to top it off uh, with this Bolt House Farms uh, avocado green goodness dressing. Uh, it's 45 calories a serving. Uh, serving size is 30 grams. I don't have this in my app, so I'll scan the barcode on this right now. And it pulls it right up. It's accurate. Uh, 45 calories. I'll log the food. And that's that. Uh, and the meal comes out to be uh, 384 calories, 61 grams of protein, substantial, uh, only 15 grams of carbs, uh, and right around 10 grams of uh, fat, 9.6 grams. So this takes me uh, for the day. I'm at uh, 942 on calories, about 111 grams of protein. So I got some pretty substantial protein to make up the rest of the day to hit you know, 230-ish. Uh, my carbs are nice and low at this point at about 48 grams, so I got plenty of uh, carb coming later. All right, so I got about, uh, you know, 950 calories left to eat for the day. Uh, I'll probably do, I don't know if I'm going to do one big meal yet for dinner or if I'm going to do uh, like a 400-calorie dinner and then a like a, like a four or 500-calorie late-night treat, which... If you haven't watched uh, Tracking Day 1, um, you can see the peanut butter cup uh, high-protein cereal that I make usually as a, as a sweet treat. So you want to check that out. The link's in the description. That's it for uh, Day 2, Meal 2. We'll be back later on uh, with the rest of the meals. Thanks. Okay, welcome back to meal three. Uh, this is day two, uh, how to track your calories for weight loss. Uh, so we're going to continue on here. I'm going to go with um, some organic black bean spaghetti. This stuff, nutritional powerhouse, uh, 56 gram serving, uh, 180 calories, three grams of fat, 19 grams of carb, but 11 grams of fiber, which is huge, and uh, a massive amount of protein, protein at 25 grams. So I picked this up today. This will probably become a nutritional staple for me. Uh, we'll see how it tastes, but uh, it, it's, it looks pretty darn good uh, in terms of the macros. So we're just going to, uh, as always, you get 56 grams on the food scale dry.
Okay, so on the button, 56 grams, it's a pretty nice portion of pasta there. So I'm going to combine that. Um, I'm going to move this out for the time being. I'm going to combine that with uh, these pre-cooked chicken strips, which I showed uh, on day one, I believe. These are just uh, Simple Truth Organic. Uh, they're pre-packaged, pre-cooked. Uh, so I just go off the label. Um, if I can find my phone, bear with me. And I actually plugged this in earlier already. This is in uh, my Nutrition IX track uh, app database already. Um, we're going to weigh this out just to make sure. Um, Let's see what it comes out to. Okay, so uh, we're 247 grams of the uh, pre-cooked chicken strips. I said earlier I weigh out all meat, fish, and poultry raw. In this case, it comes pre-cooked, so I just go off of their label, um, and we trust that it's right. Uh, so we're at uh, 247. I'll just update the grams from the other day and copy it over to today's meal. Okay. All set. And then we're going to top off that black bean spaghetti with, I found a low calorie uh, marinara, um, 45 calories for a serving, 60 grams. So once again, I'm going to pour this in. On the button, 60, okay. So we'll just, I got my pot boiling. We'll throw that pasta in for six minutes, let that cook. Um, I'll throw this chicken in uh, another skillet. I'll season that up with some Italian seasoning, like more than likely. And then Clean my hands off, and then we're going to, uh, like we did in the other meal, we're going to throw just a little bit of uh, fat-free cheddar on top, 30 calories a slice. That's already in my app. Uh, I put that in earlier. So this meal uh, comes out to be uh, 564 calories, uh, only 10 grams of carb, 11 grams of fiber, uh, and a whopping 90 grams of protein. Okay. So I got uh, a, you know, a little bit of calories left for the day and about 200 left for the day. I'll use that for the fourth meal. Um, probably some type of sweet treat. Uh, not, what I, not what I really want to do, but I don't have the calories left. I'll come up with something with chocolate frosted mini wheats, probably a Greek yogurt with that. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for that one. Real quick, we, again, talking about nutrition labels. One of the complaints um, or pushbacks you'll hear from people is that, well, you know, nutrition labels aren't aren't accurate. So what's the point in trying to, you know, in, in bothering with tracking calories? Uh, because you know, tr nutrition labels are twenty percent off, high or low. And you know, if I go out to a restaurant, a chain restaurant, and their nutrition information is posted, that's not accurate. That's probably twenty percent off too, and that's true. Um, Restaurants and food manufacturers get 20% leeway on their food labels in terms of the accuracy. However, that doesn't mean that you should not track or not pay attention to labels or go off the labels. It's better than nothing, right? I mean, it, it beats saying, well, I don't know for sure, so what's the point? I'm just going to eat whatever and how much I want. You're, even if this is off, any of these labels are off or a, a restaurant uh, calorie count is off, um, it, it's, you're still going to end up 
I apologize, my computer's freaking out. You're still going to end up in the ballpark, and you're, you're going to give yourself a much better chance to succeed with losing fat, even if it's not fully accurate, right? I mean, all you have to do is look at your responsiveness. If you're losing fat at a nice rate, a half a percent uh, is what I tell my clients to shoot for on average, um, up to about 1% of your starting body weight on average, so a half a percent. If you're on the lighter side, not carrying as much body fat, uh, a percent or more if you're on the heavier side and carrying a lot of body fat, or you're doing what I'm doing and doing a, 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 an intentional rapid fat loss approach for a period of time. If you're losing weight in that range, you're doing fine. Even if these nutrition labels aren't fully correct, it's still going to give you a much better chance to succeed than just trying to wing it, right? So, yes... Labels are off. There's no way 100% accurate to dial in your calories and know down to the calorie how much you're eating because there is a fudge factor um, and there is error involved on these labels. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't use them just because of that. People use that as an excuse. Okay, so I just wanted to cover that real quick. Uh, that wraps up uh, meal three. I'll come back with that very tiny little, uh, you know, pre-bed snack for meal four real quick and then I'll, uh, I'll cover my mac my all my macros for the day uh and that's it so stay tuned we'll be back with meal four Okay, welcome back to the uh, fourth and final meal of the day. This is more of a snack. Um, didn't have a lot of calories left. Um, so I just did um, as kind of a sweet treat for a little hit of carbs before bed. Um, I did a uh, Greek yogurt, uh, Faye true, true Blend Greek yogurt with uh, 56 grams of chocolate frosted mini wheats. I weighed this out uh, prior because if you've gotten this far, you get the gist of this, I hope, at this point. Uh, so this meal comes out to be... One second. About 310 calories, uh, 18 grams of protein, and a big hit of carbs of 54 grams. So that takes me to the day I went over where I needed to be by about 100 calories. I went up to 1995. No big deal. This is a high activity day for me. Um, I'm still in a calorie deficit. And again, my, my rate of weight loss to this point has been, uh, you know, above and beyond what what it's theoretically supposed to be at this point. So I'm, I'm pleased. Not a big deal. A day, a day here and there where you're slightly over your calories and fat loss is not a big deal. In fact, um, there can be weeks where you intentionally raise your calories um, or take a diet break in the process of losing fat. And that works really, really well. So this is not a big deal. I'm not concerned about it. So I end up for the day at uh, 1995, right about 2000, 240 grams of protein. That's where I like to be close to that. 136 grams of carb, pretty much in the ballpark of where I want to be. Usually 120 to 140 is, is where I try to hit. Um, 55 grams of fat and uh, 44 grams of fiber. So I'll definitely be going to the bathroom tomorrow, which is good. Um, so this was really an ideal day macro-wise. A little bit over the calories, but I'm just not concerned about it uh, in the least bit. So that wraps up uh, day two of tracking. Um, hope you are uh, finding this educational. Um, if you can, I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, hit subscribe. Uh, like, share it with your friends, any, any friends that you have that are trying to lose weight or struggling to lose weight. Um, I'd appreciate it if you can uh, shoot them this video. Okay. Thanks. We'll be back in a few days with uh, the, th uh, the third and final day. I was going to do four days, but I think three is enough at this point. Uh, so we'll be back soon. Thanks.